Next up at UFC Vegas 94, we have Steve Garcia taking on Seng Wu Choi. Steve Garcia, sneaky good. Fly under the radar good. 15 and 5 in his career, 4 and 1 in his last 5, riding a 3 fight win streak. He's taking on Seng Wu Choi, 11 and 6 in his career, 2 and 3 in his last 5, coming off that decision win over Jarno Aaron. Steve Garcia is good. He's a solid grappler. He's got good takedowns and good boxing as well. He likes to come forward. He'll throw those big strikes. He'll set up those takedowns. His striking is solid. He's got good movement, big power, good speed. He's not afraid to mix it up. He can get himself in trouble sometimes because he's a little too aggressive, but that guy is tough and he's always working towards something. He is on a three-fight win streak, most recently a ground and pound TKO over Melk. Costa is taking on Seng Wu Choi. Seng Wu Choi is a clean striker. He fights nice and tall. He throws with big power. He does a really good job utilizing leg kicks. He times them like jabs for the most part. He's a technical striker. He will set up his takedowns well, and he uses those at the end of rounds to sort of seal the deal. He's coming off that bounce back win over Jarno Ahrens, where he was fast, accurate, and rocked him a few times. I mentioned to open this, Steve Garcia is sneaky good. He's an under-the-radar guy. He's completely dominating people in his wins. He's got five wins in the UFC with five finishes. I wouldn't even categorize him as a finisher. I don't even think of Steve Garcia as like this killer-be-killed guy, and he's so dangerous. But here he is, finishing everybody in his wins. In my mind, he's a well-rounded guy who just happens to get finishes and I'll take that all day long. I got him at minus 140. Seems like a good deal. I'm surprised he's not a bigger favorite than that. But I like Steve Garcia in this matchup. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, obviously, um, both these guys have been you know knocked out. And both these guys have shown that they can honestly eat a shot as well. I mean, Sang Wu Choi came off that Trezano knockout against Jarno and <laughs> basically got slept again, but was able to survive. Thankfully for him, Jarno, honestly, for no reason, uh, started wrestling after he <laughs> dropped him. Um, but in this matchup, it's going to, I think it's going to come, it's, I think it's very simple. They're, they're going to get a firefight. They're both going to land on each other. And whose chin can I trust more? And honestly, at this point, I trust Steve Garcia. I think that he's just going to land the bigger shot. And if he they both land, I think he's going to eat it better. Sang Wu Choi, like I mentioned, was, was knocked out against Trezano, against Jarno. That little slick up uppercut really dropped him bad. And luckily, Jarno was wrestling him. But um, I just think Steve Garcia is probably the... The more powerful puncher is just kind of kind of beat him to the spot. And if he does, he's shown that he fucking just puts people away. So I'm going Steve Garcia. Yeah, and these are both big guys for this weight class. So it will be interesting to see how that factors in because they're not used to fighting other people their size at this weight class. But yeah, we're both on the Steve Garcia side. Do you? I mean, why do you think he's affordable at minus 145 and not a bigger favorite? Because he's one of my more confident picks on this card, frankly. I, just, I think just he just... Both, the, what, the last two fights he's won, he was losing until he was winning them, right? I mean, even with, like, the control and stuff, people were able to just kind of control him and stuff. So I think betters are just kind of put off by that to where they feel like it's, you know, kind of Hail Mary wins, I guess, that he's getting. But, you know, in this uh, in this matchup, I think it's – they're definitely both going to strike. And, you know, I just kind of trust Steve a little bit more. Yeah, I hear you. Somebody just sent me a link. Oh, you're and just it's, clicking uh, random links? That's good. No, I didn't click. It's a group chat. But it's from SanFranChronicle.com. You know where that leads, right? So oh, it's burned like into your fake, memory. I, so it's a fake uh, whatever. I don't know what it's from. SanFranChronicle.com. It it's, yeah, it's, no, it's always the, the guy with the giant thong. Oh, is that what it's it is? Always that. I but saw that like, for the. I saw that. To, they were spreading that around today for the uh, Biden backed out of the race. Or that's whatever. what I just. That's what was just sent to me, oh, yeah. and I wrote San Fran Chronicle. I will always know that link. Burned into my memory. I just remember uh, watching the Lemon Party one a lot. The Lemon Party one was crazy. I got so wasn't many it, people. Wasn't with that, that just the old guy just twirling his dick? No, Lemon Party was three old dudes like blowing each other on a bed. It wasn't a video. It was a picture. It was lemonparty.org because I remember sending it to people trolling, being like, "Oh, this is that girl that started that that lemonade stand." And then people would click it like, what the fuck is this? Okay. Anyway, Steve Garcia wins this fight. We both agree. $10 a month, we want picks.com. You're going to get this week. You're going to get UFC 304. You're going to get UFC Vegas 95, whatever the hell the card is. After that, all four cards, we want picks.com. Click become a member at the top.